Recently, Nigeria has been suffering from security insurgency. Many lives and properties have been lost as a result of security insurgency in the country. Because of this, the Nigerian government has decided to tackle the issues of security insurgency. Many states in Nigeria also joined on the fight against security insurgency in the country. This is by setting up many security teams to guide the states. Record that there were several reports about terrorist attacks in Anambra state. Anambra government, in response to, the, to this attack, set up security personnel to guide and protect lives and properties in the state. Earlier today, a man took to his Facebook page to announce to Nigerians that Nnewi security outfits have been launched. In his word, he said, Nnewi security outfits launched share same uniform with ESN. Ever since this was posted on Facebook, it has been generating a lot of reactions from people. And let's hear what people are saying, that they are sharing the same security outfit with Eastern Security Network. Why can't Eagles come together and do meaningful something for once? All the goal is to protect life and property. There is no threat to this yet until they interfere with ESN. That is when we will tag them dead men. They are not security uh, conscious. If they are, they would be more concerned with the uh, Ajatayas. Innocent is making me to believe the uh, believe he is a baby manufacturer. <laughs> well, he should build a more heavy mod guards to protect easy penetration of bullets in the tires. God bless good men. I want to believe wisdom is at play here. Feeling a positive play? My thoughts anyway. Rest in peace in advance. Nice move, but if it is to combat ESN, I'm sorry. My hands no deal. So long as they don't clash with ESN and they are not there to spy on ESN, all the best. However, pump action is not a nice one. Why sharing the same uniform with Eastern Security Network? Namdekano should be informed, please. Okay. They have already signed death warrants. Okay. Uh, they should. Using pump action rifle. <laughs> that is bullshit. Please get some. Get them good guns. Miesi Allah is threatening to bring war to Anambra. Okay. Bringing war. Where to go? Congratulations. Uh, somebody is supporting them. Some people are supporting them. Some people, majority of people are supporting them. In as much they are not going to be used against those who are really going to be combating uh, this, these uh, Fulani killers. You can imagine what uh, Miesi Allah, whether secretary said that they are going to, they are going to, that they will pay dearly, that Igbos will pay dearly for their people that they have killed. So what will not happen to the people, the Igbos that have been killed? These people should need to be asked questions. If you say that, uh, oh, Igbos were not killed, then nobody's going to believe you too because with this whole thing, you guys started this whole thing uh, from onsets. Onset. Now, wow, Niger, mm, is this different from the one launched by Igwe Orizu a few weeks ago? A good move. Go be with few people, but you just have to do the needful. You just have to do the needful. I hope... Uh, I hope it's not going to see beyond that the government. All those who now be receiving order, this and this and that. You know, with all these uh, security apparatus or uh, security apparatus that are being created, they are not see effective. My my, and a lot of people are saying that the reason why we are having this whole security, this security outfit is it is the failure from the government. Failure from the president. You can imagine if all this money that they are going to be spending, if it can be channeled to the conventional police or security apparatus, it will be better. But unfortunately, they don't want to do it. Like like they always say that a uh, pounds a uh, be penny wise pounds foolish. Because at the end of the day, you are not going to get anything. There will be compromise here and there. If the government is serious, let me tell you, if Nigeria wants to be great today, it does not take any extra efforts we have everything at our disposal to make life comfortable but what do we do they throw it away i don't understand with all the resources we have in place they still want to go and be borrowing money elsewhere and all our natural resources 
for the past 60 years. We have not been able to harness them apart from the oil, 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 oil. If that money they are using to create all this uh, uh, different, different, uh, what is it called? We know that Eastern Security Network is a, is a voluntary uh, security outfit and which everybody contributed to that. But the money that is coming from the government that they are using to create all this their security outfits here and there, if they can channel it to the Nigerian uh, police force, to the conventional, the ones that are supposed to be be for the country, they will ah, it will go a long way. Then you will recruit more people. They will recruit more people. We have all of those security outfits all over the place, yet we are still not uh, enjoying uh, uh, peace, relative peace is not still there. So the one there is a, another one. The uh, uh, is it a uh, only child? What's it called? The Obi of furniture. Whether it was the one that created it, to, like somebody's asking the one the Obi uh, the Obi created. What happened to that? We they have created many, many, many like that. Even the Ibu Biago that he said the 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 what is it called? the region security regional security outfits we don't even know how effective they are it was yesterday that they said they just made a, their first appearance in, a, in the public we well, let's see how far they are going to go the same people that they will be giving order oh you have to go this way no 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 don't go this way oh you have to you know at the end of the day it's still the same story story upon story upon story so that it won't be as if they didn't create anything or they didn't launch anything or they don't have things in place that is why they are doing all of this. But if the governors are serious with the lives of the people and their properties and they themselves, you see that uh, Uzodima cannot stay in his own state now because of the problem being created. Now, who is now running? Now, the people are still there. You have left the place. You are governing from another place. If really you want peace for yourself, you would have done the needful. But as it is now, the people can see that you don't love them. And they can see you don't need to say it with your actions, with the way you guys are aligning with people who are killing your people. People can see it. You don't even need to say it. And even some of the time, some of, most of the time, they still come out and vomit all those things. They are vomiting. And people will see know that I know these people are not really for us. So this security outfit again, <laughs> I hope uh, it is not just a all this a uh, security guard. We have a, you know, this, a, what is, what do they call them? All these restaurants, eatery. I hope a, they are not that kind of a security outfit that will not be able to do anything. You can say that some people are beginning to say, oh, this guy, is that the kind of a gun they want to use that is not even up to AK-47 and you want to use it to combat this thing. And that's why somebody says they are just, a, you know, dead on arrival. They are already, you know, it's, 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 it's not easy going to work. So guys, let's say your opinion and let's have your take on this. Thank you.